Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, we're doing another luxury haul. So first thing I want to get into because it's part of my current outfit and I feel incomplete at the moment without wearing it um, is this Saint Laurent cardigan. So cute. I'll try it on in a second. Um, but it's basically like a tweed, like wool material, wool cashmere maybe, and it has these cute little gold buttons on the front. And then it has a front pocket and then two pockets here. I'm going to try it on so we'll just see it better. But I'm really excited about this purchase. Um, I've just like, I have other designer clothes, but they're more so like t-shirts or things like that because my style has definitely changed over the years. So all of the designer clothes that I have leading up to last year aren't things that I would wear anymore. And they're all oversized because I like to like, oversized t-shirts. I don't wear that stuff anymore. So I'm really excited about new pieces. So this is the cardigan, so with this outfit I would wear it opened, it has two pockets, which I love because I always like having my pockets, also has an upper pocket up here, and um, I just have it paired with this revolve top in shorts. I just got the top, but I've had the shorts. Then I would wear it buttoned up like this, as like maybe a little dress with tights or something, and then like little black kind of like mini shorts that aren't really seen, but in case you bend over they're there for protection. It's very warm. I think it's like 74 in my house right now. I'm starting to get a little bit hot wearing it. It's definitely warm. It's thick. I think it's like wool and cashmere, if not just wool. Um, I love the like tweed effect as well. So cute. And I love cardigans. I also love the pink too. It's like a little different than the usual like gray or black cardigan. Next is a Saint Laurent t-shirt. So I got this in a medium and I also got the cardigan in a medium. The cardigan fits perfectly. This, I would say, I haven't tried it on, but just looking at it, it is a little bigger than I thought. I probably would have gone for a small, but it works. Like, I'm not going to return it or exchange or anything. Um, and the way that I, like, know if something's cute or not is I look at the website. I think Salon actually is pretty good with their website and how they pair clothing pieces on models. Some aren't. Um, but I liked this t-shirt better, how it was uh, styled on a model on Forward. Um, I like to look at their app and like look at how outfits are paired on there because I feel like whoever the stylist is for forward knows what they're doing and that's just like the best reference for my style I guess for what I like to look at because sometimes a shirt on one model cannot look cute you can score right past it and if you look at it on another model another website it looks really cute and you want to buy it so whenever I'm looking at something I always look at like forward to see how it would look when it's paired nicely so yeah that's why I wanted this I don't really like it when I just saw it like by itself um, but when I saw it on the forward model, I thought it was cute. It is a little loud with the big YSL, which isn't something I would normally go for, but I really liked it on the forward model. I'll put a picture on the screen of how it looked on that model, and that's basically how I plan to wear this. And I also wanted to add that this is not like a usual t-shirt material. This is definitely a thicker, almost like sweaterish material. It's not necessarily soft, it's just a little bit thicker. Um, so I just thought I'd add that. It's definitely warmer and thicker than a typical t-shirt. Next is a Saint Laurent hoodie. I'm not going to fully open this because I got this from my friend Brittany for her birthday. And I need to ship it, like, tomorrow. I need to ship it yesterday. Um, but I'm going to ship it tomorrow morning. And probably just do express shipping or something. Because her birthday's on the 8th. Today is the 3rd or 4th. Today is the 4th. I had to glance at my phone for the date. So, um, yeah, so I got this for her. I didn't ship it to her directly because I have other stuff that I want to add to her, like, birthday package. So this is, like, her main gift. Um, and this is in a size medium, so it runs oversized. Um, it's just a plain black hoodie from Saint Laurent, so, yeah. Next are these Balenciaga, like, crepe pants. Um, I think that's what they were called, and it's kind of like, they're kind of like cigarette pants. <laughs> um, I, hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, know those pants, they'll call them, like, cigarette pants. They're kind of like that. They're a little bit skinny at the bottom. Um, or I guess straight leg, I don't know. Um, there's no option for a belt. Just thought I'd add that because I don't know why I thought there was an option for a belt until it arrived. It actually arrived today. Yeah, it arrived today. It looks really big though. Um, I haven't tried these on yet. I will let you know if these end up fitting or not. These are a France size 38 and I don't know why they look so big. I feel like I'm normally a 38 like in tops, but maybe I'm a 36 in bottoms because this looks really big for my waist size, so we'll see how she pans out. Um, it has like faux pockets on the back, they're not real. And then the front pockets are obviously real, just plain black crepe pants. Next is this Balmain sweater. I'm obsessed with this. I love how it fits oversized too. 
I don't remember what size I opted for in this. Um, I remember like it was basically like a medium, but it wasn't called a medium. And it doesn't have the size like right on here. I don't remember what size I got. It's not like right on here. I'm confused. I think it was considered like a US 6, but or like medium, whatever. But I don't remember the exact size because I think this is like Italian or France sizing. I don't remember. Um, but I like how it fits oversized. I'll have the size in the description box if I find it by then. Or it would be in my order, actually, so I'll know. I'll, it'll be in the description box. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this. It has also like metallic on the like Balmain part. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. But it's like metallic there and also on the crew neck as well. And the bottom is also the same like white cream color and it's also metallic as well. I am so obsessed with this. It's so long too, so I could totally wear this as like a little dress with little like shorts and tights or something. Um, shorts that basically like aren't visible, that are just like in case someone's below you or something gets a sneak peek. It's to avoid a sneak peek. Um, so basically wearing it as like a little jumper dress or I could wear it with leggings. My dog just interrupted me barking, so I don't even remember what I was talking about. Um, oh yeah, outfit ideas. So basically I ordered these tights from that brand. It's called like Calzedonia or something. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, I ordered ones with little rhinestones and then I also ordered like little rhinestone socks and then I think like these glitter pants or something. I ordered a few things from there and they also had a sale. So it ended up only being like $40 for multiple things. So I plan to wear those little rhinestone tights with this and then maybe with the like silver Giuseppe boots or even with like the Gucci heels would be really cute. I have so many outfit ideas in store for her. I'm so excited about this and I love how it's a sweater material as well. Next are some things from Revolve. I know Revolve's not like a luxury brand but I just thought I'd share these just like a few clothing pieces anyways because I think they look like they're more expensive than they are. Um, this one's from the brand NBD from them. And I would say like Revolve is like a... It looks like luxury for a more reasonable price, so I like to include things like this just for people that maybe have a tighter budget or something and want to have like the look without having to spend at the price point. This is something that looks really similar to something I saw, it might have been Saint Laurent, one of those brands, and it was obviously a lot more than this one was. Um, these were sent to me so I don't remember the price, but I'm going to have the links and everything in the description box. But I love this sequin -y. Um I really into like sequins, embellishments, and like metallic glitter stuff lately, and I love like the... Um, embroidery and stuff here. This is in a size small. Next are these pants that are really similar to the Balenciaga ones, but these ones have like a slit at the ankle. I'll include a photo to show it a little bit better, but it's like a little slit at the ankle. I thought these would be really cute with like the Golden Goose sneakers I shared in, I think, my last haul. I don't know what sequence everything's being uploaded in. Um, and then this has like a little zipper on the back. Um, I think the other ones had a zipper on the side. Obviously the Blantero ones are better material and quality, but these are also really cute. I'm really hoping the Blantero ones fit me because they look so big. I haven't tried them on yet, um, and I don't think they had a size smaller than that, so... If it's just a little bit big, I'll probably just have them tailored or something at alteration, so... Anyways, this is a size small, and then also same with uh, this top to size small. Everything I'm sharing from Revolve is size small. Um, for size reference. Last thing for Revolve is this top. I know Revolve is not like a sort of luxury brand, but again, I'm just showing this stuff because it's like, for the price point, it's not bad. And I'd say this is actually pretty good quality, this one. Um, and it gives you like the look of luxury because I know some people on here have a higher budget and other people have a lower budget. Um, so I just like to show things just in case because I get a lot of questions about that, like things that are more reasonably priced that kind of have the same look. So I really like this top, it's very good quality. And this is from their brand all the ways, but I'm gonna have everything linked and it just needed like a little plain black top, so I thought that was cute. Next is this blazer from Chanel. Um, I believe this is this is France size 38. So this one fits me perfectly, but the Balenciaga pants in 38, I'm thinking I'm 36 in, in pants, and I just didn't realize all these pants because those pants are definitely too big for me. But um hopefully I can get them tailored. I'm just I keep thinking about the pants because I just got those before filming this haul. And they looked so big and I haven't tried them on yet, so I'm like getting anxiety over it. Um, so I want them to fit so bad. I could always have them altered. I'm still caught up with the pants, but anyways, this is this blazer. It's like a tweed silk material, um, and then the interior is all lined with silk as well. Um, so yeah, and again, this is France size 38. And it has little buttons. Um, I probably would wear this open and I'd probably wear this more casual. Um, just because that's like my vibe, I don't know. Uh, I'd probably wear this with like 
an outfit like the one I'm wearing, but then maybe with like black pants as opposed to like the metallic and all that. Um, so yeah, I plan to wear this open and a little bit more casual. Next are these sunglasses from Chanel. Um, I know I just shared the other pair, but it's good to have multiple. Um, so I've noticed like all of their sunglasses come in the same case, at least all of the ones that I have. It's the same black case. I don't, I don't know if that is that weird or not. I feel like that's a little like I'm fine with it, you know. I don't, I don't mind if it's like this case or a different one. I've just noticed with other brands like Gucci and stuff, like the sunglass cases sometimes are different depending on the sunglass. I just noticed, you know, it's always the same sunglass case. I don't know if that's weird or not. I just noticed something I've noticed. But so these sunglasses, I know they have these ones online because I looked these ones up. The other ones I shared, they did not have online. Oh my god, yo. Cute, it's just simple, little CC. They're large and in charge. And these definitely qualify in the don't talk to me sunnies category. So, which is the category I like all my sunnies to fall under. And the sides are like this little gold and CC. Next are these Valentino shoes. I actually got these for my mom, but recently we've been wearing the same size, so we can share them. Um, this was one of her Christmas presents for me. So I wanted to share them because I thought it had something cool about them. So these are the shoes. Basically they, sorry, the tissue paper is literally so loud. Um, they have like two different ways that you can wear them, which is what I really liked about them. My mom's really big about like having things that are comfortable. So these were definitely perfect for her. I know she's obsessed with them. She tried them on already like in front of me and stuff. So um, these are them. They're so comfortable. It feels like lambskin. I love lambskin. It's so comfy. I just don't like lambskin for bags that much because it can, you know, show wear a lot more easily. But, okay, I was literally in the middle of talking and it just stopped recording, so I don't know. I, I was talking about the soles. Um, so I really like how the soles, it has like protection and stuff, so you can wear these out and about. Um, they are outdoor shoes, but it, then it feels like a slipper because the front's so soft. Um, I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> oh my god, I should have gotten a pair for myself, but we can share them. Um, I really like this aspect, so you can wear it, you know, as a normal shoe like this, or this part flips down and you can slide them on. My mom really likes, like, easy shoes to slip on and off, so I thought these were perfect for her. I don't remember what size I got these in. 38 and a half. Um, and she's like a 39, but these ones, um, they didn't have a 39, so I got her a 38 and a half. And they fit her perfectly, they even fit me, so I think it just depends on the shoes for sizing. Um, normally I'm a 40, but all depends. I probably would have gone for a 39 if I was purchasing for myself, but I'm just obsessed with them. Oh my god, I don't even think they had a 39. I think it's why I didn't get a 39. But I'm obsessed with these. They're so soft. Oh my gosh, I hope they still sell these so you guys can get them. I'll link them if I can find them. And here's just a close-up of the shoes. I'm gonna go ahead and move this upward. I'm with this little dust bag. I love dust bags for shoes because um, I'm always traveling and I need my shoes to be secured. So I love when they come with a little dust bag. Next are two earrings from CZ by Kenneth J. Cole or Kenneth J. Lane. I don't know. Um, something like that. What did I do with the other oh, right there? Uh, I was like, wait, I had two. So they come in these little dust bags. And um, I'm not really familiar with this brand. It's not something I've ordered from before. But I saw these earrings and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. These were giving me Gucci vibes and um, a lot less expensive. They're also lightweight, so they're super comfortable to wear. Like they're extremely lightweight. And they look way more expensive than they were. So these are mine. And then I was talking about in one of my recent videos. <laughs> it hasn't gone live yet though. I don't know when everything's going up. Um, so I film things, but then if it's sponsored, I have to like have it approved by the brand first. So sometimes a video I filmed like a month ago doesn't go up for like a month or something but and one of them I was talking about how my grandma like wanted the hoops I was wearing in that video um I think it's like a beauty favorites video or something um and how they were sold out of the Naudry hoops I think was the name of the brand so I got her these instead from this brand and they're lightweight which we're both really big on lightweight earrings and they're just like little silver glittery hoops I hope it is focusing so cute Next I have some more stuff from Dior. This is just like uh, candles, soaps and stuff, so it's not anything that's like fashion related. 
Um, it's like household fashion, I don't know. I like for my house to have like a design where like candles and soaps. I just think it's a more luxurious experience when you go to wash your hands or you go to light a candle, you know, than like a Bath and Body Works candle. So um, I have quite a few things from there. I have these two, they're the same thing, but it's for like dual sink bathrooms, you know. The Eden Rock um, liquid hand and body soap. So I use these as hand soaps versus body. And two candles, one in the Eden Rock scent and then one in one that I cannot pronounce. Figuier Mediterranean. <laughs> I think that's how you say that. I'm not really entirely sure. But yeah, so these candles. I got this hand liquid hand soap in La Colle Noir. 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 I don't know. My mom's gonna watch this. She knows how to pronounce all these brands and she's going to like cringe if I didn't know how to pronounce that. La Colle Noir. Noir. I don't know. It smells really good. And I also have the bar soap. So it's like a liquid soap and then a bar soap. Oh, I'm obsessed. I just love these little things. Um, I was looking at, they also have, not from Dior, but it was some other, it was like a random website and it was like called like Province European Soaps and they were like engraved and they looked really cute. I'm obsessed with like soaps and stuff. And I got these little samples from Dior. I got a few other ones, but they were just like little mini mascaras and like mini moisturizers and stuff. Um, these ones were like, the, I'm saving the cutest samples to show. Um, so this one is a little mini perfume and like Walade Sauvage. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, this one's very citrusy. I haven't decided if I like it yet. I feel like it's cute for like maybe, you know, like a you're staying home, you're not really going anywhere, but like so you can just feel fresh without having to like waste maybe like a full size perfume or one that you like prefer more. I don't dislike it. I just wouldn't say I'm like dying over it. Um, and then there was also a sample of the Lucky scented perfume and I'm now obsessed with this and I'm gonna get the full bottle and then this one I thought this was so cute it's a little mini Dior Addict lip maximizer it's literally so cute let me open it literally this is the cutest little thing like if I had a daughter I don't even have a boyfriend let alone a husband let alone anywhere near a daughter but if I had one this like in her little purse would be so cute oh my gosh okay let me show it closer it's so miniature and cute. I'm obsessed with this. Oh my gosh. It's just so mini and cute. Um, how much product's really in it? How long would this last? I have no idea, but it's so cute. I'm obsessed with this. This is really cute for like travel, a little airport uh, lip gloss moment. And I also just love this product because um, I have the full size in a few different colors. And then this little free pouch. These are all like complimentary gifts that they give you on their website if you're like part of a royalty program or whatever. Um, this one's probably my favorite pouch that I've ever received. And I've received quite a few, which I swear they're gonna stop doing that because they know they're giving us too much. They're spoiling us too good with this. So I haven't looked inside yet. It's tissue paper. It's quite roomy. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. I like how the interior is like this material that you could easily wipe if you use this for makeup or something, something leaked obsessed with this oh my gosh i have this in like red and a different shape but like the same material from dior but this one's so much cuter i'm obsessed and pink there i swear they're going to stop doing these as like complimentary gifts one day so i have these two candles from diptyque i think they're the same scent yeah the same scent base this is one of my favorite scents i just looked at my camera just turned off and then i get said the card was full so i had to go and delete a few things that were like old footage that aren't this video and then I saw I had like a hair piece that was literally like down here the whole time oh my gosh it's so annoying it makes me want to refilm it but I can't refilm that because I have to go do stuff after this video so I'm so sorry about that hair piece I'm literally cringing at it myself next are two candles from Jo Malone I actually got four of the same thing two of each but I'm obviously just gonna show one I don't know why I did that with the like vase candles and then the Eden Rock soaps, I like show doubles, it's like it's literally the same thing. But um, so I just bought two upstairs, because the other two are downstairs. Um, these I think were from, yeah these are from Neiman Marcus, because they had that little like 50 off every 200, so I loaded up on candles. So these are my first Jo Malone candles actually, I believe. I might have like one from a while ago, but I, I don't have any that are like out. So, cute. I've heard so many good things about Jo Malone candles. Um, I want to say I haven't tried them, but I don't know. Um, sometimes I'll say something like that. My mom watches my videos and she'll be like, I literally bought you a Jo Malone candle in like 2002. And I'm like, 
<laughs> so like basically she'll mention like I got you that like years ago and you didn't like it because I didn't really know what I was doing when I was younger so now I'm like into things and sometimes I'll be like oh I got into this and she'll be like I literally got that for you like a decade ago and you didn't like it um so and maybe I had one whatever so these two candles um one's in orange bitters this one's my favorite so it definitely smells better than this one but they're both cute this one's in white moss and snowdrop so so cute i'm curious to see like how these compare to the diptyque ones because the diptyque ones are the ones that i like burn daily next is a rouge 540 baccarat <laughs> oh, i'm pronouncing that right bougie perfume scented candle um i think i showed this in like different it was a different type of like exterior packaging for the candle in you know, one of my last hauls um i'm trying to like wipe my fingers because this is i already unboxed this like, like right before this video because this stuff was all delivered before filming this and um it leaves finger marks so just be aware of that you gotta like wipe them away and make sure your hands are clean um but i'm so obsessed with this i love the gold this is so cute oh my god my finger marks and I have two perfumes. One's actually a body spray. The other's a perfume. So this is a body spray from Tom Ford. It's just a refill. I already have this. It's the Soleil Blanc um, all over body spray. Um, and then this Guerlain perfume and Flora Cherry Sia. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Aqua Ligoria Flora Cherry Sia. This is the scent. So I already opened this. Um, I haven't used it yet. This stuff was all delivered right before this video. So. I was just taking a little peekaboo before filming. Um, but yeah, so this is cute. And um, you just pull this little top off. So cute. I don't have any Guerlain perfumes. So uh, this is really cute. I love also, it's almost like a little birdcage design. I thought that was really nice. So adorable. This is Laundress. Um, I haven't tried anything from them, but I had like a little sample come as part of something else I bought somewhere else and then they had like a little sample and they gave like complimentary samples of like one of their little wash bars and I was like this smells so good I've heard people talk about this but I kind of thought it was mumbo jumbo like okay like how's a laundry detergent gonna be special like I just thought okay whatever but <laughs> then I had the sample and I smelled it and I was like this is so good um so I got a few of these um I think I got in two of the delicates one I got the most of this one and then um, and I got this little mini travel size delicate wash and then I got this wool and cashmere spray and then I got this little kitchen soap bar so I'm just obsessed with how all of their stuff smells it's so nice and obsessed oh my gosh it's probably like my favorite scent like they, had a, they made candles oh my gosh do they make candles? I don't think so they need to make candles so good and then I got another Oseline book so I like these, um, a little heavy. Um, so I like how you can also like put them like this. You can stack them because I have several others. Just, I didn't have the Elmafi Ghost one yet, so that's why I got this one. Or you can have it like flat like this, um, on like a table or something, coffee table. So it's like a little centerpiece moment or just like in the end of a credenza. This is so heavy, oh my god. Um, I don't remember them being this heavy. I don't like lift them up. They're like sitting on my credenza, but, um, yeah. So I got another one of these. Um, I also just love these books. They're very aesthetic. Then I got these Boucheron sunglasses. I should have shown these after the clothes or with the other sunglasses, but I kind of forgot that I had them to share until I looked at the stuff that I'm sharing this haul and realized that I totally forgot them. Um, these are really different than anything I have. Oh my gosh, can I get this tag off? I just don't like how it looks when you're trying it on. There's like a tag on it. Um, so let me try these on. They're very different. I think I have, I have, I think like two pairs of nude colored sunglasses, but these ones have the crystal thing I'm into right now on the side, and I love how it's like gold and white um, on the sides as well. Last things are just two things from Chanel's uh, like beauty line, um, just this lip gloss in, what's the color? Rose Pulp. I got this like a little while ago and I just forgot about it. I haven't even used it because I forgot about it. But it's a very like sparkly kind of peachy pink. And then this lipstick. I've used this a few times so it's already out. Um, I really like the end of this one. It's different than the other lipsticks I have. 
And then this is their Rouge Coco Flash in the shade Boy 54. It's a cute little cool tone brownie nude. And I also like how it's like shiny so it's not super opaque or anything. So it kind of looks like a gloss but it doesn't feel like a gloss. It feels more like a lip balm. So yeah, I really like this product. So that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next luxury haul. Again, everything will be linked in the description box. Um, everything that I've mentioned in this video. And if I can't find it or if it's unavailable now, then I'll just put next to it like sold out or unavailable or something. Um, but yeah, so everything will be linked in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.